First of all, I'd like to thank Valerie Leonard for calling us together today. We are here today to demand that CPS keep Hope School open. CPS needs to stop with their propaganda efforts. On CPS's website, they say that Pope School does not have a science lab. It's totally inaccurate and it's false. Negative propaganda. They say that Pope School is not handicapped accessible. Pope School is handicapped accessible. They say that Pope School has no pre-K program. The fact of the matter is, we have families and children on the waiting list, waiting list here at Pope. Pope's enrollment has increased by over 38 percent from 135 students to 186 students in the past four years. So quite naturally, Pope's attendance was affected by the 10 charter schools that CPS put into effect since 2000. The fact of the matter is, is that the enrollment is coming back. In, a, in addition to that, I'd just like to say that CPS in their propaganda document, which states that this school is less than half full, is two-thirds of this school is full, being utilized. That's the fact. Pope scores has risen from 46% to 65.9% in meeting and exceeding state standards in reading from 2009 to 2012. Yeah. And I really don't believe that the other school grades are even as good. If anything, they might be kind of close to post grades. Pope is doing better. There you go. And I just would like to add that if there's any funds that this school needs to bring more resources, we have TIF monies that we could use. The entire 24 wards of TIF, that's our taxpayers' money, and I'm sure they definitely wouldn't mind us use that money to keep this great institution open. So last but not least, I want to say, CPS, to balance your budget, don't balance it on the backs of these children. If you ought to do something to balance your budget, shut down CPS headquarters at 125 South Clark and get rid of all those patronage jobs that don't have nothing to do with educating our children and putting that money in our classroom. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you. I'll see you at the hearing tonight. All righty. Thank you. Hi, this is Valerie Leonard again. I wanted to close out giving you a little bit of my conspiracy theory and then also letting you know that Hope is really, I think, a better option, you know, one of the best options here on the park. So I guess let me start off with my conspiracy theory. I'm very concerned that AUSL is trying to corner the market in terms of real estate around here. And when I say real estate, I'm talking about school real estate at this point here around the park. After the dust settles with our school closings, AUSL will have control of every school in or around Douglas Park. Um, we'll have Hope School, which is closing. They will fold into Johnson School, which is a few blocks to the north of here. And then also, AUSL has Collins, which is in the middle of the park, situated there. They co they're co located with uh, North Lawndale College Prep, but AUSL controls the capital budget in that building. And they also want to take over Chalmers. Chalmers is on the northeast corner of the park. So after that settles, we'll have Hope closing, Chalmers gets taken over, um, Beth Bethune is going to be closed and that'll free up some, some um, potential for them to actually take over Chalmers and then we'll have Chalmers, we'll have Collins as well as uh, Johnson here in the park. And that's concerning to me because AUSL typically does not play nice. They don't collaborate with the other schools. Here in North Lawndale we have a history of collaboration and that in 
my opinion, you know, just having three schools controlled by one entity, no diversity, that will not fly, in my opinion. And I'm also concerned because immediately to the north of the building, and I'm sure you'll get a look at that after you leave, there are townhomes that were developed by Michael Scott. As you know, Michael Scott was the former president of um, C CPS. Those buildings were developed at and they were selling for about $350,000 to $488,000. Who in their right mind would want to buy a house for that much and then have an empty building next to it? And then not to mention people have been here for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, live right around the corner. They didn't sign up to live around the corner from an empty building. And this pew was just saying they just cleaned up the corners you know, of, of significant crime and other gang violence and then to leave this building to attract negative elements, you know, that won't fly either.